What is up people, it's Seja here and in this video I'm going to show you how to create your own lightweight hacking lab. But why do you need a hacking lab to start with? When you're doing pen testing, it's very essential that you have a machine that has all the necessary hacking tools. And it's also essential that this machine is completely isolated from your local computer so that you leave as little footprint as possible while doing the pen testing. And you also want to make sure that you don't make yourself vulnerable out there. And that is why you don't do your pen testing on your local computer, but instead you do it on a hacking lab that is dedicated for hacking or pen testing. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how to create one very easily for absolutely free of cost. We're gonna make use of Docker technology, which is a concept of running applications in a separate isolated sandbox so that they cannot interact with other containers and also not with the host operating system. We're gonna make use of Chasm Workspaces, which is a Docker streaming platform that allows you to run Docker containers right from your web browser. Now, I've already made a video about creating your own hacking lab with Chasm, but what's going to be different in this video is that this is going to be a lightweight hacking lab and instead of deploying Chasm on a cloud instance like I did in my previous video, I'm going to deploy it on my local computer so that I don't have to pay any fees to cloud services and I'm basically doing it for absolutely free of cost. I'll also show you how to run this hacking lab on your mobile phone as an application. All right, so the first step is to install Chasm Workspaces on your computer. You can go ahead and find out the minimum system requirements that you need to have in order to install Chasm. Chasm only works on Linux, so if you have a Linux machine, you can go ahead and use it. These are the supported operating systems. I'm currently on Ubuntu, so I should be good to go. In order to install Chasm, you can open up your terminal, go to your temp directory, and you can go ahead and download Chasm with curl. By the way, all these commands will be in this installation guide right here, which I'll link in the description below. So you can go ahead and check out the description for this installation guide. So I'll download Chasm with curl. It seems like curl is not installed on my computer. So I'm going to go ahead and quickly install curl. All right. So now that curl is installed, I'll go ahead and try that again. And you can see Chasm is now downloaded. The next step is to extract the tar file. So I'll just copy this command and paste it here. And now I have a new directory called Chasm underscore release. So I'll go to Chasm underscore release. And here is the install.sh script that I need to run. So I'll run it with sudo. I'll say sudo install.sh. So this is going to install Chasm. It's probably going to take around two to three minutes. So I'm going to pause the video here and I'll be right back once the installation is done. All right. So once Chasm is done installing, you can see your default credentials here that you can use to log into your Chasm workspaces dashboard. You can obviously change these login credentials, but I'm going to save all of them into a text file just in case I need them later. So I'm gonna go ahead, create a new file called chasmcreds.txt and I'll paste all of this and say, all right, so now if I open my browser and go to https colon slash slash localhost, click on advanced, accept the risk and continue. So I'll go ahead and log in with my default username and password that chasm has generated for me. And there you go. This is how your Chasm dashboard will look like. We're going to use Parrot OS as the operating system for our hacking machine in this video. Parrot OS is a Debian based Linux distribution that contains all the well-known popular hacking tools that a hacker would need. So I'm gonna come back to Chasm Workspaces and if I go to Workspaces here, you can see we currently do not have any workspaces installed. That is because Chasm now doesn't come pre-built with any workspace images in order to keep the installation more lightweight. And you can only install the images or applications that you actually require instead of installing all the pre-built images. So in order to install Parrot OS, I can go to the workspace registry right here. And by default, you can see the Chasm Technologies registry is already added, but you can go ahead and add your own registry if you want. But right now we don't need to add a new registry because Parrot OS is included in the default registry. So if I scroll down, I'll find Parrot OS somewhere over here. There you go. So you can see it also shows you how much space this is going to take up. In this case, Parrot OS is going to take 13.10 GB of your space. So I'm going to click on it and select install. And this is going to download the Parrot OS Docker image and install it in the background. And obviously this is going to take some time because Chasm need to first 
download the Docker image of Parrot OS and then install it. So I'm gonna pause the video once again and be right back once it is done. All right, so once Parrot OS is done installing, you can go back to your workspaces and you can see it right here. So just click on it, select open session in current tab, click on launch session, and that's going to spawn up a new container of Parrot OS and you can access it from your web browser like this. So you can actually make this full screen, click on full screen and now you are full screen. So this is your own hacking lab that you're running right from your web browser, which is awesome. So you might ask, how do I transfer files from my host computer or from my local computer to my hacking lab? And it's very simple. You can just click on this arrow button right here, click on upload and uh, well, that basically opens up a file dialog box and you can go ahead and select any file that you want to upload and it's going to be uploaded. So if you open your terminal, you can go to your uploads directory and here is the file that you have just uploaded. But there is still one thing that you need to do in order to make this hacking lab more functional and that is you need to make sure that the container, when it is spawning up, you wanna make sure that the container actually spawns up as root. Because right now, you can see if I say, who am I? I am not root, I am Chasm user. So if I want to install a new tool or a new software, I wouldn't be able to do so. For example, let's see if we have OpenVPN installed here. You can see OpenVPN is currently not installed. So if I want to install OpenVPN, I'll just go ahead and say sudo apt install OpenVPN. And that's going to ask you for the password of Chasm user and we do not have it. So we will not be able to install new tools or softwares from this container because we are not root. We do not have root access. So now to fix this, I'll go ahead and I'll delete the session. Click on delete session here. And I'll go back to my admin dashboard, go to workspaces and over here I'll select edit. And in the docker run config, I'll add a new entry to this JSON that says user and I'll set the user to root. So I'll submit or save this docker config, go back to workspaces, spawn up the Parrot OS container again. And let's see if we are now spawned up as root. I'll make this full screen again. I'll open terminal. And now you can see if I say, who am I? I am root. So if I want to install OpenVPN now, I'll just go ahead and say sudo apt install OpenVPN. And now you can see I am able to install OpenVPN or for that matter, any tool that I require. Now, Parrot OS itself comes with a lot of great collection of hacking tools like Nmap, uh, Hashcat, etc., etc. But there might be some tools that are not included by default with Parrot OS. For example, OpenVPN. We had to install OpenVPN manually because it's not included with Parrot OS. So the thing is, if I go ahead and destroy or delete my session, that's going to completely destroy it from the memory and it's going to destroy all your traces. Now, if I go ahead and spawn up Parrot OS once again, open up my terminal, and if I try to use OpenVPN, you can see OpenVPN is not installed. This is because every time you create a new container of a Docker image, all the things that you have done previously on other containers are going to be erased. You're going to start from scratch. So when you need some external tools for your hacking lab that are not included with Parrot OS by default, you would have to reinstall them every time you spawn up a new container. And that's not really handy. So let me show you a way you can fix that. So I'll go ahead and delete this session. I'll go to admin, I'll go to workspaces again, and I'll click on edit for the Parrot OS config and I'll scroll down until I see docker exec config and here is where I can specify the commands that I would like to be executed when a new container of this image is spawned up. So I'll say first underscore launch to tell Chasm that whenever a new container is launched, I want to do these set of actions. So inside this first launch, I will set another field called CMD. And inside this, I would like to run a bash script that is going to install OpenVPN 
with the apt install openvpn command. Cool. So now whenever a new container of Parrot OS is created, this command is going to be executed, which installs openvpn. So if I want to install multiple tools, I can just append this. I can just make use of the and operator and give you know, multiple commands to install multiple tools that I like. So anyway, let me go ahead and save this configuration and let's try it out. I'm going to go back to workspaces and spawn up a new Parrot OS container. And let's see now if OpenVPN is installed or not. So I'm going to open the terminal and let's type in OpenVPN. And there you go, you can see that OpenVPN is actually installed. So you can actually make use of this trick to install any tools that you require that are not already installed in your hacking lab. So that whenever you spawn up your hacking lab, all these tools are already installed and you don't have to install them manually again and again. And also you don't have to delete your session every time because Chasm now actually allows to pause your containers. You can just go back to your workspaces screen and then pause your container like that. Since we have installed Chasm workspaces on our local computer, only the devices that are inside our network will be able to access it. But what if you want to actually be able to use your Chasm workspaces from across the internet, from wherever you are by just connecting to the internet? Well, you will still be able to do that by making use of a tool called ngrock. ngrock basically lets you create a secure tunnel from your local host to its servers so that people who are outside the network can still access your local network through the internet via ngrock service. So I'm gonna go ahead and install ngrock on my host computer with snap by saying snap install ngrock. Awesome, now I'll just add my auth token to authenticate with ngrock service. So now I'm going to create a secure tunnel from my local host port 443, which is where my Chasm workspaces is running. So I'll say ngrock space HTTP space 443. And that's going to create a unique ngrock URL like this, which forwards all the HTTP traffic to my local host port 443, which is where my Chasm workspaces is running. So now if I open up this link, you can see I am now able to use Chasm workspaces and this link works across the internet. So as I already said before, you can even use your hacking lab from your smartphone and I'm gonna show you how to do that. All right, so first I'm gonna open up the ngrock link which gives me access to my Chasm workspaces. I'm gonna log in with my account. I'll just go to workspaces and you can see there is already a session of Parrot OS running. So I'll just click on resume. And there you go. I'm now able to access my hacking lab literally from my smartphone. So in order to actually save this as a mobile application, you can just click on the share button right here, scroll down and select add to home screen, select add, and you'll be able to access your hacking lab from your mobile device just like that. All right, so that will be all for the video. Thanks for watching. I hope you liked it. I hope you learned something new. If you did like this video, please do not forget to leave a thumbs up below and also do leave a comment in the comment section. I'll see you in the next video. Until then, cheers.